Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the uh, podcast. If you're new, welcome. Uh, thanks for uh, finding us. If you're a veteran, welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, <laughs> the word reactive. Reactivity. Reactivity. Uh, oh, dog. Can you just right away lay down yeah, things or why? What's the yeah, I don't issue? think this is going to be very long. Well, but um, I was kind of flabbergasted by the... Um, the, the the appearance of this reactivity stuff, we never talked about that before. Just wasn't it? It was just, you know, the dog is, you know, Whatever. reacting to, do, to to different things, right? Yeah. I remember... When did this come, you see him come up more but and people, more? But people worry about it too much yeah. as some kind of a problem, right? Yeah. And uh, so, first of all, reactivity is not necessarily aggressiveness, which, okay. but aggressiveness could be reactivity. Okay. You know? So uh, the uh, the the reactivity is that the dog reacts to unusual things. Yeah. Like get overwhelmed and jumps or whatever. Yeah. Like you have a horse and suddenly there is a plastic bag flying and he jumps. He's reactive. Yeah. It's reactivity on the horse part. Yeah, I remember I had a dog, one of the first dogs I had, or first dog, well, I had some other before. His name was Timber. And he just couldn't walk by a sewer grate. Uh -huh. It was just, or garbage can. Just. It was just like <laughs> crazy, right? And like now, you want to... Now people, you know, I would say, oh, he has a hard time to walk by the garbage can. Yeah. And people now say, oh, he's re he, he's reactive. Oh, okay. Whatever. Same yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Um, that's why I call me old, old school. Old school. Yeah. Yep. Dog is afraid of sewer grade. Oh, he's reactive. Okay. See, it's confusing, you know. Yeah. We say reactive and what? What's that? If I say he's afraid of garbage can, everybody knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's right? it. It's clear cut. The kid is fidgety. No, I don't know what that means, but oh, ADHD or something like. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, yeah. no, it's just fidgety. He like fidgets. Can't, you know, yeah. <laughs> can't sit still. Can I, can I just say a normal word? You know, I don't anymore. Know. Yeah. And 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 so the reactivity is the dog reacts not necessarily with aggression to things which there is no real reason to worry about. Yeah. Now, who the hell are we to tell the dog what he should be worried about, right? Yeah. I mean, he 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 he, he walks by sewer grate. Yeah. Great. Great. And which is belching this odor of garbage, rat, and piss and shit and puke. I know. You know, and he smells it. Okay, so he reacts to it. It's like, what the heck is that, right? Yeah. Oh, he has weak nerves. They say. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? Just like, don't read it too much into it, right? Yeah. It's just, just let it go. Now, some dogs will become aggressive towards certain things. Like, you know, yeah. a little green man with beard. Yeah. You know, and dog never seen one like that. Well, he become reactive and we may even become aggressive. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I, was, I was at REI and uh, it, was, it was Halloween. And I, I, I don't know, I forgot it was Halloween. So I took Kai in there just to look around. And, and this woman was dressed up in some kind of thing. And she was friendly. She wanted to come towards him. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> she goes, can I pet him? And he's like, Rrr. I'm like, no, I don't think you should come. Because she was dressed in this yeah. thing that he couldn't recognize. Yeah, like you know? some, I don't know. So, like, so, the, so yeah. the, now now these so-called experts, they will come and say, oh, your dog is reactive and they charge you $3,500. No, you look weird. No, you looked weird. Yeah. <laughs> they charge you $3,500 to fix re reactivity. No, could I pet him? No. Yeah. <laughs> but then you have dogs, you know, yeah. who will react to things you you don't think they should, but who are you, right? Right? Yeah. I mean, why would... We make judgment in, you know, in the sense you of... Pass judges, you pass what do they call it? Anthropomorphizing. Well, I can't say it. Anthropomorphizing. Okay. The dog, right? You expect him to be the same way as you are. Yeah. Or they're not. They're dogs, right? Yeah. And and, and so, so um, just because the dog reacts to something yeah. doesn't mean that he has weak nerve. You know, and people say, well, I want my dog to be calm and balanced and neutral, which 
yeah, I want that too. But, but, but you know, it's like, uh. it's like if I, uh, if, 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 if I see a tiger, you know, I become reactive. Yeah. Do I have a mental <laughs> problem? You know? Yeah. No. Yeah. You know, same thing with the dog. He doesn't know it's not a tiger. Yeah. He, he, he thinks it's tiger. Yeah. So does it mean that he has, uh, yeah, you know, some kind of a psychological issue? No, right? Yeah. Now there are dogs who are unstable and always on the edge, but we gotta help them. You know, trainers these days they say, "Well, it's all genetics," meaning if the if if the if the genetics are not just right, they don't want to train the dog. Well. Yeah. So what are you doing? You're a dog trainer, so you should. Yeah, I know. That's what you. That's that's your job. It's in the word. Yeah, Train. that's your job. What are you training? So there? so so what? There's many ways you can, you can desensitize the dog towards these things. Uh -huh. I like to use these two stresses. I talked a about it in the other yeah uh, a video, right? I remember you told me the story where you took one of your dogs. It's called Sheep's Bridge. Yeah. It's kind of a similar thing. Yeah, the dog was reactive to the 100 yeah. yards height. <laughs> I'm looking at <laughs> On that little narrow bridge when he looked through the yeah. boards, he could see that. And you were training him on that. And he was just, he just flipped, right? Yeah. And and and, and so was he reactive? Yeah, no. You know, or, or when you walk by the train who is going 80 miles per hour with, by you and dog is freaking out, is he reactive? Yeah. I don't think he's reactive. He just doesn't have the experience to know that the train is not going to jump the tracks and run over him. I was at the park with with my dogs and Kai. It was the amb um, ambulance, or I mean, uh, fire. It was a fire truck turning on the corner with fully blasting. Right. And uh, man, he did not like that. He was he was either hiding right by me or wanted to almost run back to the car. He was like in this mode, yeah. and I gave him the ball, kind of like try to. And he cared, he cared about the ball, then he forgot about the right. the thing. So, well, but I don't well know. the point is, the dog sees something unusual. Yeah, it's unusual. Yep. Yeah. Right, yeah. and he reacts to it. Is that bad? Well, for example, a bad guy uh, sneaking through your house at two o'clock at night, who broke in. What was his name? Ramirez, the night stalker. Oh, okay. you know the mass yeah. murderer. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, he walks through your house in the middle of the night. What do you want? You want the dog to just, you know, just, just lead up. Yeah. Well, people say, well, he's a murderer. How do you know the dog? How does the dog know it's a murderer? Yeah. He's just reacting to things which are unusual. Yeah. So, so is that bad or good? You know, I mean. But it's the more there are sometimes people are, depending on the, what the reaction of the dog is. It, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, but it's up to me as a dog trainer to yeah. explain to me. Don't react to this. This is this is okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then or react to that, like Ramirez in your bedroom. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's not okay. Yeah. Right? So yeah. so yeah. so see. so and the dogs, they don't have the the genetics for it to be born and understand Ramirez bad and yeah. and fire truck good, you know? Yeah. yeah. You know, so we gotta we gotta teach the dogs how to react to certain things. You know, and people say, well, but sometimes the dog reacts to normal thing, like a, somebody has a hat mm. or beard. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but the dog doesn't understand that somebody with his hat is okay. Maybe before you got the dog, some guy with his hat come and hit him with a stick. How do you know? Yeah. Yeah. So it's up to you as the owner and dog trainer to teach, to teach them... <clears throat> to teach them to deal with these type of normal yeah. uh, things, right? Because it can go the other way too, where the dog is barking at this bird. You don't want that and say, it's okay. Well, I mean, not okay, but remember petting yeah. and you build a dog. So you, you can flip well, it. That's a, that's a, no, I know. Yeah, I'm just yeah, saying, yeah. but it, you're doing the wrong thing. Right. 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 So you're teaching the dog wrong thing. That's what I'm trying right, to say. So, yeah, that's what people yeah. do. So, so the dog barks you're at teaching the, uh, them the wrong thing. person with a derby hat. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and you telling the dog don't bark and they start petting the yeah, dog. Petting, yeah, right. Yeah. That's yeah. what Gabor is yeah. saying here. Yeah. Sorry. That's what you're and uh, you actually making it worse. Yeah. Right. Why? 
because you positively rewarding, positively meaning like a good way, yeah. not positively like Adding Skinner something. way. Yeah. In other words, you're making feel the dog good about barking by petting them. Yeah. While he's actually not doing While something. While you really want to so called calm him down. Yeah. But you are not calming him down, you are rewarding his barking. Yeah. Right? So if the dog barks at somebody, you don't want him to bark, just correct him. Say no. And give him a correction. When he shuts up, say, good boy. Now you reward him. This is why Hans is so busy, because he knows these things and people don't know. What? <laughs> because, because people don't know these basic things, but and you know them, you know, because yeah. of your experiences. But, well, you know, when you yeah. are when you are correcting or rewarding dog, yeah. You basically rewarding the behaviors, the feelings, the thoughts the dogs have at that moment. Yeah. So if he's barking at somebody with his beard and derby head, and you don't want him to bark, all these positive nut yeah. cases, positive only, they will they will start petting the dog or giving him cookie. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And and the dog then says, okay, if I bark at the do- guy with derby head and beard, I get cookie. So did you make it better or worse, right? <laughs> so so what I do, what I would do, there's several things you can do. Yeah. But the two stresses which I talked about now and then is the 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 stress A would be the guy with we should put a picture there. Oh, I'll yeah. try. Okay, guy with derby head and beard. I think our audience has good imagination. <laughs> no, nah, this would be and uh, and the dog starts, you know, looks at him. I correct him right there before he even starts barking yeah. because I wanna, I don't yeah. want the dog to go there. Number wanna, one, right? You want to condition the monster. Or he sees another dog. People say, "Oh, my dog is so aggressive towards other dog. He's so reactive." Training not to, yeah. Well, so he looks at the other dog. Yeah. He gives the dog hard look. You know what that means? Yeah. You know, cut tense, like you know. Yeah. And 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 people stand there and wait until the dog starts barking. <laughs> But it's too late. The ship sailed, right? Correct the son of a bitch before he yeah. starts barking. See, I can say son yeah. of a bitch and it's it's not dirty. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> it's, it's a dog show. <laughs> so, so, so anyway, so the dog looks at the other dog and I say, no, and pop him. And he looks at me and I say, good boy. Did you guys hear this? Pet the dog. Good boy. Like, yeah. you guys forget. Because the dog looks at me yeah, and like, says, when I correct him and I say no in correction, the dog is looking at me. Why? He says, "What? What do you? What, is this good? What? What do you want me to do?" Yeah. I said, "I want you to look at me. That's good." And I pet him for looking at me. Yeah. Not for barking at the other dog, right? This seems like, you know, if, if I would have listened to this like three, four year, four years ago before I met Hans, I'd be like, just went over my head, what he's saying. That's why I wanted Hans to repeat this. Right. That you got to that that. Petting the dog, it's like no one talks about it. And if you give him treat, then the dog, that's not good, it's right? That because the dog, the dog is going to bark at the other people or just. dogs just so he can get a cookie, right? <laughs> so you got to be careful. Now, there's other ways yeah. you, you, you know, you can, you can, if the dog is looking at the other dog and you give him cookie before he barks, that's okay. That's okay, mm-hmm. right? Because you're rewarding... You know, he looks and he knows, oh, if I see a dog, I get cookie. Okay. So you're rewarding him for seeing the dog. Okay. But once he starts barking, too late. Yeah. Don't give him cookie. Yeah. You're teaching the dog to bark. Yeah. At the other dog. Yeah. Or at the guy with derby head and beard. Yes. You know, whatever. Or glasses or sewer system or garbage can. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, and then, so... So you can you can correct the dog, say no when he looks at something which like garbage can or other dog. Yeah. And he gives it a hard look and you say no and pop him. And if he doesn't respond, you give him four corrections. Say no and one, two, oh. three, four. And then the dog will look at you as a good boy. Yeah. Down. Sit. Why down? Down is submissive command. You re affirming your leadership position. Yeah. It's all yeah. Tied together, you know. It's in the book. It's in Hans's book. <laughs> no, it will be. <laughs> if I don't croak first. <laughs> but uh but 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 you know, so so it's no big deal. 
you know? Yeah. I remember my dog Timber, he was just terrified, not terrified, but he was reactive to garbage cans, right? Mm -hmm. And it was a pain in the ass. And finally, the stress A, garbage can, stress B, me telling him, heal, down, sit, stay, come, and if you don't do it, I correct you. And then the garbage cans, that didn't matter because the correction uh, was more important to the dog than worry about garbage can, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Or another dog, or whatever yeah. sewer system, or guy with derby head, yeah, and beard, beard, has to have a beard, right? And so, so, <laughs> so I correct him, right? Yeah. That's stress B, and that stress B overrides the stress A, yeah. And once the stress B overrides stress A, the stress A doesn't matter, yeah, in that situation, yeah. And not just that that stress A will not matter even if the stress B, my corrections and my making dog do stuff, yeah. is not there anymore. Yeah. Because if it didn't matter when I was correcting the dog, yeah. why should it matter when I'm not correcting the dog, right? Yeah. So yeah. the dog says, okay, well, I guess it's nothing. Yeah. Now you may have to repeat it for a while. It doesn't go like chop, chop right away. Yeah. But you must never, um, you must never uh, backslide. Mm -hmm. You got to be consistent and persistent. Mm -hmm. Consistent and persistent. Consistent you write it down. and persistent. And that correction, and I don't want to go into that. That we either talk. I know we talked about it, or we can even do another podcast on correction. But if what, should, should come close to the pain threshold. Exactly. So this is if if this is a hundred percent. Yeah, that's that, what I talk about on my video. How hard do you correct the dog and all that so it's not abusive? Yeah. You know, it's not abusive if the dog because the dog is making the choice. Yeah. If to respond to the correction or not. Yeah. So I'm correcting him harder and harder and harder, and finally the dog says, Well, I don't want any harder than this, and they respond. Yeah. And that keeps it non cruel. Yeah. It keeps it humane. Yeah. Right? Because the dog really makes the decision how hard I should correct him. Yeah. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah, it, it does. It does. It's by it's, escalating yeah. the correction yeah. to yeah. the point where the dog start looking at me and responding, so that's where I keep it. Yeah. But that's and much more is explained in that video about the obedience. In, ob in your obedience video. Yeah. That's for sale. That you can buy right now for ninety nine dollars. For ninety nine dollars, <laughs> it's called uh, uh, obedience. No nonsense no obedience nonsense. training. No nonsense obedience training at Alpine K Nine Real. Yeah, yeah. Go to videos for sale. Or whatever. We're not shame. We're, we're not shameful at selling. I, as they say, if I'm not gonna promote Who's myself, gonna do who it? will? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's there's a marketer guy. He goes, I don't I don't sell often. But when I do, because he teaches a lot, he gives a lot, you know, throughout the year. But when I do, I sell hard. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's like that guy with Gosaki. So. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, we drifted a second that's, here. But, that's about yeah. it, you know. Okay. That's about it. Uh, it's, it's funny. Like, it's about it, you know, but it's like it's, you know, dog training is a, uh, Hans call, calls it a conglomerate. It's a, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a rock that has many many different types, right? Rocks, Rocks inside of it. Inside of it. Fused together by some So when Hans says, matrix. yeah, that's about it. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like an onion. There's no end, man. There's no end. There's, There's no, no end. And that's what makes But dog. you know, guys, you know what? Yeah. Let me tell you something, you know, since this is not it yet, right? Yeah. Um, when you train the dog, yeah. right? You can do it with cookies and with uh, toys. Because dog looks happy, because as we call it, he's in drive. Mm -hmm. But he's not doing it for you. Yep. He's doing it for himself. You are just a pest dispenser, giving him cookies when he does what you, you think you want him to do. But that's not how the dog sees it. Dog sees it. He says, "If I put my ass on the ground, I'll get cookie." Yeah. He doesn't care about you. What yeah. you want. Where if you train the dog out of drive, he and make him do things when he does not want to do Dude. them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Then you start building relationship. Yeah. You know, me yeah. the leader and you the follower. Yeah. Remember, yeah. dogs love to be leaders or the followers. There's nothing in between. And Caesar talks about that all the time. Like yeah, it's a so you thing. Yeah. yeah, Caesar yeah. Milan. Yeah. I like Caesar yeah. Milan. 
It, it's, and it's, Hans talks about it all the time, all the time. Yeah, it's 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 the 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 it's better you being the leader, right? So now when I going back to the reactivity, and I'm in leadership position because I did the obedience out of drive. Yeah. And the dog sees another dog or a guy with their beard and beard. <laughs> got put it now in. we have to put it in there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You're gonna have to send a picture. I'll send you a picture. We're gonna put a you know, we're uh, gonna put and a, I say no and correct the dog. Dog responds to me and respects me because why? Because I'm in leadership position. Because you said so. Because I said so. Darn it. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. <laughs> So, Han, so every, I mean, you may be seen in the videos, but what Han, Hans has his big pickup truck, eight foot bed, and he's got all this stuff in the back, barrels, crate, I mean, uh, like uh, crate, crates, those like beer crates or whatever you call it. No, they're milk crates. Milk crates, beer. I just took a beer because <laughs> they did have them. The, they're milk and, crates. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, and, and so we put the- It says on it, uh, yeah. the, these milk crates belong to Shamrock Company, and if you get caught, you will be charged $25,000. Oh, is it? <laughs> and he's, he's got like eight of them. Yeah, so. but, but we the dogs walk through these things, and- they hate it in the beginning. They hate it so bad. It's like these, you have these big bad dogs, right? And they just like break down, walking into the into yeah. the crate. You it's, have a dog who's reactive, yeah, right, yeah. And you know, I'm using yeah. the terminology, yeah. modern terminology, yeah. because I don't want to sound outdated yeah. and debunked. Yeah, you want to be hip. <laughs> so, so the dog, you know, the new dog comes in, right? Yeah. And there's these all these dogs in the group class. Yeah. And this dog is just beside himself, want to kill everybody, blah, 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 barking at yeah. everybody. Yeah. He's reactive. Yeah. And people say, oh, what do I do? I said, take that dog. Yeah. And I have battery upright uh, milk crates, upright, so the whole yeah. serve, you yeah. know. <coughs> <coughs> and I say, make the dog <coughs> lead, you know, uh, walk the dog on a short leash through those crates. And dog is just like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. What, is, what am I going to do? Uh, and then I have a barrel there, and I said, put him on the barrel, then wobble the barrel, and dog oh, yeah. is just like, oh, 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 like this. And and he stopped barking at the other dogs, right? All of a sudden, yeah. Yeah, why? Because stress A is over right, by stress, stress B. B. Yeah. Yeah. So. And and just going back, I, don't, I, know, <laughs> I know this, you know, we're kind of going off tangent a little bit, but going back to the whole cookie thing, the, the dog will do anything for that cookie. And they and 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 I asked some of these trainers online on YouTube, say, hey, why don't you, you know, can you do it without cookie? And you might be listening to, you might be one of on the one that's asking. And they say, yeah, we I could do it, you know, at the end. I go, well, why don't you start it out that way? Then if you can do it, because why would you want to eliminate baggage, right. right? That's the point with the protection training right. too. Why would you want to eliminate something? Why don't you just start that? Without it. Without it. Yeah. <laughs> because they see, okay, we do it with the cookies, yeah. and then we eliminate the cookies. But if well, it's a problem, the cookie, well, why, why don't, don't you, even... you just do it without the cookie? And the reason is, actually, it's, it's not... It's, it has nothing to do with the dog. It's their either lack of knowledge or... Everybody does it. Everybody does it. It's easy to make do it's shit. Easy, uh, yeah, uh, laziness. Uh, so it's one of those... With cookies or what, toys, it's yeah, easier. Not, not, not one of those three main things. That's instead yeah, of... Yeah, but the problem is it doesn't build a relationship between you and the dog. Yeah, you don't, you're not going to have a deep root like an oak tree. You're going to be... It's going to be like a weed. The, the wind comes and it just topples. Right. It just right. rips it out. So you, as I say, you know, you yeah. you, you want to be the leader, you know, you yeah. got to be the leader. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. like I had a. If you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. I'm not going to say no names, yeah. but I have one of the people has a problem with the dog sometimes giving him hard look and being aggressive. Yeah. And I said, all these problems are coming either from really screwed up genetics, which is rare, mm -hmm. extremely rare. You know, gangster dogs are yeah. extremely rare. Or uh, you not have being in a leadership position. Now send me a video, any video of you working with the dog. So this guy shows me video how he, he has his veg and teaches the dog to bite in it. Then he puts him down, stay, I mean, sit, stay next to him and throw the 
toy away. And he's wanna, I know what he's doing. He's trying to teach the dog to run for it really fast, which is part of the shoot some training to retrieve the dumbbell really fast. Mm -hmm. So he runs yeah. with the dog towards the toy. Of course, the dog is faster, so he gets there first and gets the toy. Now guess who just became a leader? Yeah. You know, the dog, mm -hmm. right? And now this dog is a hard ass, Czech German Shepherd, yeah. right? And you try to tell dog something not to do. He says, last time you couldn't even catch the goddamn toy. Yeah. <laughs> Get, so who the hell are you telling me what to do? Yeah. See? And that's where this problem starts. Yeah. Now I'm trying to make light of it, but it's really not that funny no. when no. somebody sends you a picture of the boyfriend being all messed up and bloody puddles in the kitchen. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's not, real. Yeah. but that's what it leads to in extremes. You yeah. know, you play it out all you the way. Gotta establish leadership position, yeah. and you cannot do it through training the dog in drive. Yeah. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't train dog in drive, but first train him out of the drive. You do it down because I said so. When you do it, I pet you. Good boy. Petting feels good. Excre excretes oxytocin. That's a bonding hormone. Bonding between you and the dog. It feels good, it's bonding, and you're making the dog do things he may not wanna do. So who is the leader? You are the leader. Then when you achieve that, you can go and start playing toy and do this toy uh, obedience for shooting trials. Yeah, you can do it. You know, you can yeah. do it then, yeah. right? Yeah. But you already have that default that you are in leadership position. So now you can do with the toy and treats after, you know, you can do yeah. your in-drive obedience. I'm not against in-drive obedience, yeah. Yeah. but there's a time and place for it. It's a succession. Yeah. You know, it's from geology, you know, the, the strat, succession. strat it's how they succeed one each other. Uh, succession, yeah. Succession of, yeah, succession of layers. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. which, man. So how so long much. was this? Uh, I don't know. We've been recording for like 25 minutes or okay, so. Okay, that's good then. Yeah. We talk about these episodes, like not, we don't talk, um, like, uh, sometimes Hans, Hans asks, like, how long? You know, my philosophy is that we can give, I've heard one minute of great knowledge and and and, uh, and yeah, two hours Yeah, but the attention of, span, you know, like I know myself and I go look at video and it's video is two and a half hours. Yeah. Forget about it. Yeah. You know? Well, we have the audio version too. I, I I upload the audio version, so you don't. If you don't have time to watch it, um, then you can always listen to that too. But yeah, yeah, we don't have any two-hour videos. So no, no, no. I think no. the longest was like an hour and five minutes. Our, that, hour were the long one. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the pretty longest. Pretty long, you know. So, but it was good. Yeah, I want to keep it. Yeah, it's good. You know, if but but you gotta find time to listen to it. Yeah, they're about twenty-five minutes average. It's like, it's like this friend of mine, bless his heart, he says. Hans, you gotta watch these videos. This is so good. You really need to watch it. I said, do you promise? I said, all right. So I come home and it's four hours and 16 minutes. <laughs> yeah, no. I was like, four hours. Even if you put it like in double speed, you know, you know, so you can, yeah. it's still two hours, you know? Yeah. Nah. yeah. Well, we hope that they're informational. That's what you know, Hans always- It gotta be succinct. Is. Yeah, succinct. You know, it yeah. gotta be fun. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Gotta make, gotta give you, you know, information. It's like, you know, just this uh, famous Czech novelist, writer, uh, which I have a soft part in my heart in for him, uh, Milan Kundera. He just passed away, right? 94 years old. And uh, so I kind of went through his, you, you know, the eulogy towards him, about him and and, and, and his uh, quotes, what he said. Yeah. And he says, there is no point to write novels unless you yeah. introduce people to something new, yeah. you know, something of value. Yeah. You know, there's so much videos out there which are just carbon copies yeah. of bumper stickers of some other trainer, you know. Yeah, and that, exactly, that's what so it I'm is. So I'm just hoping yeah. that yeah. when I'm saying something, it's something which, uh, which, which gives you this emoji of this of yeah. yeah, the magic, yeah. <laughs> we should do that on the... Yeah, like... 
Oh, the face. Wow. Yeah. I know, they have these faces. That's what I want, that's what I, that's the emoji I want you to be like. You want, I want you to be that emoji. Yeah, yeah. But what what Hans is teaching is it's fundamental. It's not rocket science. It's not. Makes sense. It's natural. Yeah, it yeah. came from Wolf. Yeah, it's not. You know, it it it's, yeah. it's 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 it has a logic to it, common sense. Yeah, if you guys gotta come from nature. Yeah. If it doesn't come from nature, it's bullshit. Yeah. Uh, we're like challenging. Hans is challenging all of you to think logically. Like, forget about what you've seen or what. Just even forget about what Hans said. Just logically think through. Yeah, analyze this. those things logically, and sometimes you think you're doing it right. And you won't, but you will see it. And so you say, oh, I screwed up. I got to do it different. And yeah. then you analyze the mistake on your logic by logic again. Yeah. But remember, it got to come from nature. Yeah. Got to be logical. Yeah. You know, it cannot be ideology. Yeah, ideology is dangerous. You know, yeah. because, because, you know, as I always mention Descartes, you know, Cartesian philosophy, mind over matter, that's BS. Yeah. You know, you gotta, you know, and again, Kudera, how did he say the quote? It was, it's, it's, it's nothing new, it's, it's natural, right? Or uh-huh. Something like that, he said. Yeah. You know, there's nothing new. Yeah. Just try and figure out what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Think. Think. You know? Think, think, think. And with that, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. Uh, and yeah, visit. so I can make the, the 0.000. Oh, yeah, the private jet cents. that Hans is. Uh, Zero three cents per thousand clicks. <laughs> that's the main purpose of this whole podcast. <laughs> so he can have his private jet. Oh. Um, yeah, so buy some videos. <laughs> so go to alpinek9real.com and check out all the instructional videos, the personal protection series. The uh, not no uh, nonsense obedience training. Uh, How check. to use buggy whip? Or I mean the flip pole. Yep, the check commands videos is really good. Yeah, Alpine K9 Art of War. Art of War, which That's is a really good one. Way underrated. Underrated. Yeah. Yes, um, especially if you're in law enforcement. Um, but any for anyone, puppy. If you have a puppy, how to how to feed your uh, puppy raw, and um, yeah. So there, there, that's at alpineK9real.com and. We will see you next time. Ahoy.